We want certain actions to run even if any user is not logged in. To do that, open any controller like topics controller and we want this index function to allow even if any user is not logged in. This is performed by allow method and we do that in before filter and let's see what before filter is. So we create public function before filter. This function runs every time before any other function runs. And here we say this auth and its allow method and we pass any method that we want to allow. So we say index. I forgot to add this sign here. So we go to topics and index. And you can see that now this method or this page is now visible. And whenever we try to add a topic, that sends back to this login page. But what we want to do now is we want to add a user. So we enter users slash add. But that still sends us back to this login page. So we also want to allow that to. So go to users controller and define a before filter here. So public function before filter and this auth allow add we save this and now we try to add a user so you can see that we are able to add a user now we try to create a user we say admin password is pass full name is admin let's sing role now but we need to fix that and we'll do that later but as of now we click submit and you can see that the user has been saved we can also see this in our users table so this is a username this is password the passwords in cake php are hashed and we haven't hashed our password values and we do that by going into users controller we want to alter the value that is coming from the form so we have to deal with this this is this request data so we copy this and after we create our user we save we use data inside we have our model user and its password field and we want set this equal to auth components password method and we'll pass this value again. We save this. And I uncomment this. I save it. And try to add another user. Test. Password is also test. Full name is also test. We set the role and submit. The user has been saved. And we look for that value in our users table. And you can see that the password is now hashed. So let's write a login functionality in next movie.